Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is for anyone looking to ship picture tube TVs or monitors to sell on eBay. First thing you'll need is a 4x8 sheet of 1.5 inch foam board. Next, we'll be marking the foam board to cut it into 16 inch square pieces. I personally use a 48 inch metal T-square, but in the video I'm demonstrating how to make the marks with just a tape measure and a sharpie. Once the marks are made, just use a straight edge like a piece of wood or something or another piece of cardboard to connect the lines. Next, I use a Weller soldering gun with a plastic cutting tip to cut the foam. Basically what this does is it cuts the foam without a large mess. It does release a nasty odor and fumes, so I do recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area and wearing some sort of mask. Here I'm using the metal T-square to draw, to basically cut a nice straight line. Again, you don't need to do that. You can just follow the lines that you drew on the foam. With this method, you will be able to, you will get enough squares to be able to ship three TVs. The foam that you're seeing that I'm work, currently working on is not a full 4x8 sheet. But a full 4x8 sheet will give you enough squares to ship three TVs. Also, I do recommend you purchase the foam, boxes, and all the supplies before you even list the TV or the monitor. You do not want to wake up one morning with a notification that you have to ship one of these TVs and not be prepared. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes to pack and ship a picture tube TV if you have everything else ready to go. The TV that I'm going to be shipping is a 13-inch TV VCR combo. Besides the Weller soldering gun, there is also a product that's called a hot knife that can be purchased from Amazon and various other retailers. So, I purchased pretty much all my boxes from Home Depot or Walmart. They are 18 by 18 by 24. You do need it to be the 18 by 18 by 24. You need a little bit a larger, taller box in order for this TV to fit. The sheets of foam run about 11 to $12 for one of those sheets of foam, and you can get three TVs out of those. Here you see I am taping three horizontal, and then I'll do two vertical on the seams, and then I usually add a little bit extra tape, and I've never had an issue. I've never had a TV get damaged in transit, and I've had never had a box come apart before. So once you get done taping it up, then the next thing you're going to do is take the 16 inch squares and we're going to put them in the box. The boxes typically run less than $2 a piece. And basically all the supplies you will need are the foam, a box, packing tape, a, and a garbage bag, and some filler material. Here I'm adding the squares into the box. Since they're 16 by 16, it doesn't matter which direction because they're going to be the same size on every side. You go ahead and add them in, kind of like a puzzle. The next thing we're going to do is take the TV and wrap it into a garbage bag and set it inside the box. The reason we're going to do that is because we do not want pieces of foam to get inside the TV and damage it. The TV has slots in it. You don't want anything to get inside the TV. So go ahead, wrap it in the garbage bag, tie it up, make sure it's sealed really good. And then you're going to take it and set it inside the box with the picture tube down. Then after this, see there you go. It fits great. After this you're going to take the remotes. Um, I'm sorry. The next part is we're going to use a box cutter. It's a box sizing tool actually. And then we're going to go ahead and leave the foam in there. We're going to set the depth of the box cutting tool. Then we'll take the foam out and we'll basically serrate the box all the way around. And take the foam out, make the marks. I do recommend you know, once you've done several of these 13-inch TV VCR combos, you'll get an idea of dimension and weight. So I do recommend that you 
sort of pre-box one and get your dimensions and weight first because you do not want to be undercharging people for something this large and this heavy. So then we're going to go ahead and take some scissors and we're going to cut the corners here. And there in the background I have the manual and remote. There's a nice gap from the TV because the TV um, you know, basically goes down in size from the front to the back, so there's a nice little gap. And here we're going to go ahead and put the final piece, and you can see how the box folds over. But I felt that the TV was moving around a little bit too much inside. So then I went and grabbed some cardboard filler, and I went ahead and added this inside. It will add a little bit of weight, but not very much. And then you go ahead and tape it up, and then that's it. It's ready to go. You weigh it and you measure it. Because something this large will require weight and measurement in order to fall into correct guidelines for the post office or FedEx. And that's it.